How's it going and welcome to Whiskey Wins with me, Stuart. Now, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. Yes, I'm wearing a pineapple shirt and the reason is because I've watched some of Jeff Whiskey videos. Uh, he's another YouTube whiskey reviewer and I'm really enjoying his videos at the moment. So I decided to steal some of his um, <laughs> tactics to try and grab some views. So I've got a pineapple shirt and I'm also going to give this bottle a nice slap because it's something he does for some weird reason. Um, and he calls himself a slapper, so that's pretty cool. So here goes with a slap, and this is for Jeff Whiskey, uh, if you're watching anyway. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> it is fun. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> it is fun. Uh, so today we've got Kalila, 11 year old, by the single cast. Uh, I think they're limited, or the single cast company, uh, something like that. Doesn't come with a box. Comes in this uh, square bottle that some people don't like. I uh, think it's rather disgusting, some, some people I've spoken to. I actually like the bottle and it's something that intrigued me to it. Uh, I, I think it's quite minimalistic to be fair, except that the kind of big, bold, egotistical badge on the front. Uh, but other than that, I, I quite like the bottle. It looks quite luxurious, uh, like a perfume bottle, and it looks nice on the shelf, to be perfectly honest. Uh, do you pay a premium for it? I think you do. The price of this 11 year old Kalila is £83 and it's bottled at 59.7% ABV, uh, non chill filtered, and natural colouring. So it ticks a lot of good boxes, other than the price. That's quite high for an 11 year old Kalila, even if it is cash strength. There's certainly more, uh, there's an abundance of Kalilas out there at a lower price. But we'll get on to the whiskey, we'll try it, uh, we'll see my ratings at the end. Do I think it's worth it? Would I buy it again? Would I recommend it? Um, we'll see if, if, if the value uh, relates to um, the whiskey, the price. So yeah, we'll get down to the nose. I'm pretty sure it's just bourbon cast selected. It doesn't say. Uh, it's got a lot of information. It says matured in a hogshead, so I'm assuming bourbon. Uh, it's got a lot of information on there. Bottle 108 of 137, so it's quite limited. Uh, distilled 14th of October 2008 and bottled 9th of March 2020. So the nose, there's a peat, there's pine needles or pine tree, there's a little bit of ginger, uh, definitely some ginger in there. It's a little damp, a sea breeze uh, coming in, sea salt, uh, the, the, the wisp of the, or the, the wet mist coming in from the sea, spraying on you. Uh, imagine being at a beach with the sand. Yeah, it's quite picturesque. Uh, it does transport you a little. Nice um, emotive smells. There's a little bit of a, a kind of wet leaf, wet green leaves, uh, maybe some apples there as well, some fresh apples. Quite a fresh and green whiskey, uh, if that makes sense. And I'm pretty sure the last whiskey I reviewed uh, from them, which was a Linkwood, was quite similar, quite fresh, quite green. Uh, so it seems to be quite consistent with their profile almost, which is interesting that they're getting that across in different from different distilleries. And there's a, a nice smell that we most people love. I know I really enjoy it, and it's the the, uh, the rain water on a, on a tarmac, sorry I'm burping, <laughs> water or rain on uh, the, the path after it's been quite warm, uh, you get that smell. I, I know some people know the word but I'm not one who's that articulate to know these types of words. So it's the water on, 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 your, on your ground, right? <laughs> it's the rain on the ground after a warm day. Maybe some fruit there, uh, but nothing, nothing quite decisive yet on the nose. Uh, it is a little like I said, with the freshness, the green, it is a little almost uh, young in, in, in nature from the nose. The 59.7% ABV, I'm just going to let the dog out for a pee. Just realised what I said rhymed, uh, but no, he doesn't even want out for a pee, he just wants to sunbathe, that's quite a nice day. Uh, the 59.7% ABV, a little evident in the nose. A little prickly, but yeah, nothing, nothing that will throw me off. So uh, the palate, 
more um, freshness, more greenness. But there's uh, mango, there's oranges, there's, like I said, those, those fresh green apples from the nose. These are now more of a, a stewed, a baked uh, apples and a, and a nice pie, baked apple pie. A lot of spiciness. White pepper in the palate. Um, God damn flies. <laughs> White pepper in the palate. Some ginger again, which I believe was in the nose. And we're also getting this uh, umami flavour. Uh, quite, I think, quite uh, in line or aligned with Kalila as a distillery. Uh, I usually get like bacon rashers and things like that, and just bacon in general. But this umami flavour is umami mixed with uh, some sort of spices. And the only thing I can relate it to and try and paint a picture for you, uh, a Bob Ross moment, is oxo cubes or beef stock cubes. It's yeah, it's like that. It's if you were just to uh, yeah crumble a bit of it, just a small amount of it, mm, you'd get that kind of savoury umami beef flavour with added spices, whatever the spices are that they add into these stock cubes. Obviously, there's probably a lot of salt in there, and this is definitely a salted whiskey, a savoury whiskey. Uh, so yeah, th those those flavours are quite interesting. Quite enough going on. Uh, like I said, from the fresh youngness, fresh green apples to this beef umami flavour, uh, quite ev ev evolutionary. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of uh, evolving characters there and you could spend a lot of time with this, put some water in it, chip it down, chip it away and probably get some other flavours. But these seem to be quite dominant in the, the style of Kalila uh, in general. So. We'll get down to the finish. The finish is definitely long, uh, long in length for sure. There's a, a sea salted dark chocolate. This bitterness, uh, I'm just watching the dog, he's came in from outside and ran upstairs. He's having a right old good time. Uh, this sea salted dark chocolate, the dark chocolate's really evident in the finish and it's nice, it's a nice flavor, um, quite bitter. There's, there's something uh, fishy, <laughs> something fishy going on here. There's a little bit of fish in the finish, uh, smoked fish. I want to say, I don't think it's smoked salmon, it's more like a smoked uh, fish or shellfish in brine. Uh, let's think of like maybe mussels, like a smoked briny mussels in the finish. Uh, those, those are the ones that you get in the jar. Uh, it isn't just brined mussels, it's, it's significantly smoked. Uh, just getting that out there, it's smoked for sure, right? I don't know how many times I need to say it's smoked. I don't know why I'm still going on about it. It's smoked mussels in a briny, um, yeah, whatever, oil. A little bit of a sweet toffee or, or caramel flavour coming through, but the, what, the things I want to focus on here in the finish are the, the, the bitter chocolate, the dark chocolate and those, those mussels, those... <laughs> smoked briny mussels. So we'll get down to the review of the whiskey, my rating and how I rate it. Uh, do I think it's worth it at £83? No, it's not worth £83. Uh, £60 possibly, yeah, £60 seems like a good price range, 50 to 60 for an 11 year old Kalilic cash strain. I know there's plenty of uh, whiskies out there, Kalila whiskies for sure that are cheaper and just as good. This is a good whiskey, do not get me wrong, it's just overpriced, uh, which is a little bit of a shame and possibly down to the bottle being a premium. Uh, would I recommend it? I, I usually always recommend whiskies. There's only some exceptions, uh, some terrible whiskies that I, I, I wouldn't recommend. And I would recommend this, it's nice. But like I said, I'm really enjoying those flavors, especially the, uh, <laughs> dare I say it again, the muscles. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I would recommend this and would I buy another bottle? No, I, I've had it now, there's other Kalilas to explore. Uh, I don't think myself as the biggest fan of Kalila, but I'm starting to get into it slower and slower and uh, slower and slower. No, I'm starting to get into it a little bit gra gradually or gra I'm trying to think of the word, gradually isn't a word. Um, I'm gradually getting into Kalila, <laughs> that's the word. So yeah, it, it's a good whiskey, I'm enjoying it, I've enjoyed it. Uh, just halfway down for the first half I didn't really enjoy it but I'm starting to enjoy it now so yeah I, I commend the, the whiskey 
uh, itself, but not the price of the whiskey. And yeah, I bought this whiskey and maybe it was a little bit naive of me to buy an 11 year old at 83 pound and maybe I'm part of the problem, but I hope this helps other people decide uh, and hopefully I'm more like a, a test dummy um, in a sense. Uh, I know I'm a dummy anyway, but uh, hopefully I'm a little bit of a tester, that, that guinea pig for you. So you can decide whether you want to buy it, whether those flavours that I've kind of described are worth it. Uh, like I said, I don't think they are, but it's still a good whiskey. Uh, so I think that's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching. I've been Stuart. This has been Whiskey Whims. I'll see you later.